It's mid-May, sunrise, Guneseo Lake is frozen as it's been for the past seven months. The winter of 1990 hung on unusually long. Fortunately, the ice was receding, allowing boats to navigate along the shoreline. We're several hundred miles northeast of Winnipeg in Manitoba, fishing last ice. It took us 45 minutes creeping along the shoreline, sometimes breaking through ice flows to reach the river mouth where pike and walleye bask in the warmer river water. The first morning I got out a big Eppinger five of diamonds spinner and a pair of pliers. Manitoba fishing regulations require barbless hooks only, which meant we had to pinch down the barbs on all of our traditional lures in order to use them. Now you'd think that barbless hooks would lose a lot of fish but we rarely lost one. In fact, it wasn't until we had caught our 30th or 40th fish that one got loose. The traditional big pike lures didn't catch very many fish this early in the spring. I tried most everything I had in the tackle box, but the best producer was a jig with a plastic tail. Now that didn't make a lot of sense to me, so I stuck with the lures, like this spinnerbait here that drew a follow-up. There it is. Yeah. I've looked at this back and forth in slow motion. It looks like a northern pike, a small one that's chasing this spinnerbait close to the boat. This is characteristic pike behavior. Oftentimes they'll go after it a second time. This time it looks like a nice sized walleye though, but it's probably the same short striking pike. This kind of action happened all day. Remember this is May and the ice is still leaving the lake. Now speaking of ice, I'm fishing with Detroit Red Wings hockey star Dave Barr, born in Edmonton. He'd like to have an outdoor show if he didn't play hockey. And of course, I would have loved to be a pro hockey player. He got it, took it. <laughs> this guy's big. You're trying to snag him, Fred. Yeah. Oh, he's out. <laughs> A typical pike during our three days at Guna Sail. A little bit nicer. The fun of northern pike is their vicious battle. The rod's out of the way. You can see the wire leader that Dave Barr has above his jig. We tried fishing both with and without, and didn't lose very many running the bare line. But a wire leader, you're guaranteed a pike can't slice that lure free. The action continues. We caught pike and walleye like this every five minutes. Speaking of walleye. All right! <laughs> In the boat is Jim Budd, owner of the lodge, and Castaway Coolis, a TV producer from Ohio who has an outdoor program. Now we're going to catch walleye like this in our boat on another day. Don't give him any line, Dave. Don't give him any line. Today we're concentrating on pike, spunky pike. The feisty little guy. <laughs> Around the circle, by the boat. This time, the guide's ready with the net. We caught fish like this every five minutes. Honest, that's no exaggeration. You guys are making short work of this. Yeah, we are. <laughs> this is as much action as you'll ever find. Here's one reason Guneseo has so many big fish. Gone to fight another day. Now here we are 10 minutes after we got on this rock to fix a shore lunch. I don't know, but it, it's been doing nothing but taking line. Oh, this is a good one. Now I better tighten my drag a little bit, but this is very dangerous. Don't hit with your drag right. This was our first day fishing. It was noon. I had been trying well, lures spinner and spinnerbaits rather than jigs. Well, and compared with Dave Barr so and everybody else, I wasn't catching nearly as many. But I had to experiment. That's yeah, just the way I am. Yeah. I like to try different things to see how they work. I no why they later, don't. So I hope but it satisfies deep. my curiosity. Not That's a part of the on. fun I get out of fishing. I think this is going to be trouble when we get it up shore. <laughs> Watch out, right wing Dave Barr holds the net like a hockey stick. 
definitely the biggest pike ever. <laughs> you want to hold your rod for a bit? No, that's all right. I, th I think I ought to do that, redo that. Yeah, you hear these stories about how these big things play them in the lawn. Well, you can stop there, John. I missed it. Oh! Jeez! Oh! oh. <laughs> this is going to be a kick. Oh, you know, I don't know how we're going to... I pray. <laughs> that doesn't... Well, I think How's your experience at netting? <laughs> I'll get it in there. You get it close, I'll get it. Oh, this is going to be a tour. Oh, here it is. Get ready, get over here. There it goes. Going down again? Don't extend too far, Dave. Okay. Oh, that's, a, that's a decent sized fish. There you go. Go for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I had such a slow morning. Oh, oh man, that was outstanding. You know, I, I can't believe these barbless hooks. And this is without a leader. What about eight, 10 pound test line? Oh boy, was that fun. <laughs> That's kind of a goofy statement. Of course it was fun. That's why we go fishing. We enjoy the challenge. We enjoy the outdoors. We also enjoy being with our buddies. I got a real kick out of spending a week with Dave Barr. You'll see and hear more from him in the months ahead. He caught some great fish. In fact, he caught a pike that was a spitting image of this one. Oh, I like that. Look at the size of that baby. <laughs> Manitoba fishing regulations on this lake allow you to take smaller fish to eat, one big trophy you can take home to mount, and the medium-sized ones all must go back. Pretty darn good system that seems to work. Maybe I'll catch that fish again, or maybe you will. If you do, it'll even be bigger.